Hey, everybody. Yo, throw an axe. I actually don't know how to play Olaf. What does Olaf jungle start? I thought people start Q. Is it really not that? No, spell. Because throwing axe at her, then I can probably try to go for a hook. Q? Did I not notice it? Hey guys, uh, I got autofilled this game. Um, this is still the top lane climb. I asked the guy to give me top lane and he said no. So um, yeah, I'm support. I'm not gonna dodge games unless you guys want me to, but it's not like I, I play uh, support. So let's go uh, E start for the flay. Could be pretty good against uh, their team comp. Okay, good god flash. That's sick. Dude, you, you gotta back away. That guy's destroying you. Stop! Back away, please. My teammate was getting crushed. Can we get two? Kill her. Super simple. Get level two. Just fight them. We just win. If you're playing something that's super squishy, like Lux, Zyra, whatever it might be, I'm gonna try to flay it backwards so the minions get closer to the turret. I guess I didn't really do that much though. <laughs> Every single lane has the same exact concept of like, if you get two first, and they are trying to push for two, you can kind of all in no matter what champion you're playing. It, it's more extreme bot lane because you're uh, 2v2, so because you can have two champions focus one, then it's even more broken. But that's like one of the easiest concepts you could ever do on support. If you can get two first, immediately all in. Uh, if you have that type of thing. If I was playing like Yumi still, I would hopefully have my AD carry all in. And, like, I will support them. But, in this case, I'm the person with the, the engage. Because I'm playing Thresh. So, we'll flash onto the to the flashless person. Flay. If you flay someone backwards that's flashless, uh, your hook kind of can't miss. So, makes it very easy. Hmm. One auto attack does it. Can't get it. Damn real. Dang, I missed. Do I not still beat you though? One auto attack would do it, but she ran away. That plant destroyed me. Uh, let's just try to shove it in. I'm low, but uh, who cares? I'm down. Probably gonna die, no? Hey, let's go. Dang, I'm doing good this game. I just had a feeling that I could probably survive if I just land hook plus flay to like uh, keep him off of me long enough. I kind of want to go the symbiotic souls for movement speed. Sounds fun. Let's try it. Oh, I probably shouldn't uh, swap my trinket yet because I, I don't have my support item yet. We hold on to our yellow until we finish our support item. Everything that we've done so far is literally first thing support fundamentals. Get level two all in. Uh, the second thing is, after that, just land a good hook. Start a fight. Why do I want to start a fight? Because we're ahead. Uh, Zyra was level 2, so we were fighting her once again on level of disadvantage. So once, once again, this is just trying to extend my lead from what I've done earlier. Of course, now it's 4 to 4, so you're going to see me 
have to figure out a new method because no longer are we in the lead uh, in any way. So I could still look for probably um, hooks and stuff, and if we land it, maybe we can kill, but... Like there, right? That was a good hook. I got her cleanse. Oh my gosh, she missed the cannon. It's because I hit it. And I have flash in 25, so what we can do... Flash advantage, I'm playing Thresh. We just flash flay the Ash, probably. I, or I just land another hook. Can't do more than that. Damn, I just don't miss right now. I'm just landing everything. I really am just setting up my AD carry this whole entire game, aren't I? <laughs> I'm I'm legitimately popping off. <laughs> <coughs> Doing so good, I almost don't want to put it into a, a video. I want to put it uh, like as a as a video on its own. I was gonna add this on like a, the second game of a top lane video, but holy crap! We're just smurfing it. <laughs> Jeez. These guys are going to give up pretty soon. <laughs> it feels like because of how hard we're popping off. Oh, I have symbiotic soul, so I can get back pretty fast, too. I have no idea what support items to build, so I'm just going to build whatever the recommended items are. I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, so far, after the support rework, I have only played support one time ever. And how long ago was that? Like a month ago? Or two months ago? How? I think it was quite a while ago that the support rework came out. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed my hook. My first time. When I miss my hook, it's uh, really bad if I stepped up aggressively, which I did, because then, as you can see, I get completely destroyed. So uh, that's the downside if I miss. I just haven't been missing all game, though, until that moment. I'm level 6. Does that matter? Oh, God. Her plants are so damn annoying. Can I get this? I think I can Creating more plants. My teammate bases to spend her insane amount of cash. She is super rich. Whoa, holy crap, Ash Arrow? This player back. That person's dead. You probably can't get the other one, can you? Oh, maybe you can. <clears throat> If I can land hook, maybe? One auto? Nice. Good job, everybody. She juked really hard downward. A lot of people juke, so I kind of throw it downward as well. I still did miss, though. <laughs> but because she jukes downward, uh, that also is away from safety being deeper underneath the turret is her safety point so that allows me to step up aggressively and flay her back that's why i feel like thresh is always a good pick no matter what because thresh is one of those picks where um even if he's not good in the meta his kit is has to be one of the support picks in the entire game you have um you have something that allows you to save your teammates, you have a pick potential, and you also have a disengage in another pick. Not many champions have two separate pick abilities in the game. Are you okay? Yo, 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 you're gonna die. So when Malphite lands his Q, he also gets sped up, so... You don't want to go for this? Okay. I was gonna lantern this guy in, but never mind. Let's just clear out this ward and pretend that I'm not going, but then I do. Mm. 
That's definitely warded, isn't it? We probably can't go in then. Ah, that would have landed. Oh god, I should have lanterned him earlier. I'm sorry, man. Maybe I could have saved you. Oh, I freaking missed my flay somehow. That felt like high ground, low ground, though. It felt like I was on top of her from what I saw on my screen. But, oh well. A mistake. Zed wants to dive? Well, I mean, Kaisa's so fed to the point that it should be possible. I should have done it a little bit earlier, though. Zed killed? Oh, God. Yeah, never mind. You're super dead. There's no way to save you. Do not. Do not. Do not. That guy doesn't have ultimate, right? I'm pretty sure we're fine. Completely fine. What? He has ult? I have no idea if Kai's has enough damage here. Dang. She does deal a huge amount, so I was trying to abuse it, but... She doesn't have ultimate, so she can't get him. Let's just base. I almost have my, uh... My boots done. We see that Hecarim's topside, so I'm safe versus that guy. My boots, uh, by the way, these are boots that empower movement speed when you're done with them. So, when this goes down to zero, which, and it, it goes down to zero by just moving, um, then I will be very, very fast. That is what it does. Merc Treads could have been really good this game because they have a, this triple bot side is really AP plus also uh, CC heavy, so it could have been kind of nice to go that, huh? I didn't, though. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay, my fleet is no damage to that. Wait, what? That didn't land? Oh, she's gonna commit for the kill? No way that I can kill this guy, right? But I can with my teammate. Once again, if you can flay, you're normally gonna land your hook. It's just a feeling. It's because when you flay them back... I'm super dead here, right? Okay, I'm not. See ya. When you uh, flay them into you, your hook shoots from the front, and like the the way that they can dodge it is so much less when they're right in front of you. So I think most people know that, but who knows? Maybe maybe it's information that people don't really think about while they still know. I'm gonna go uh, this this knight's vow. So then, when my teammate takes damage, I hope that I can like save them because. It will make it so they take less. So the Malphite might try to one-shot her, so I'm trying to build items to help her. Locket might not be that bad either. I honestly don't know what to buy. I'll go for the one that heals my teammates when I CC them, because I'm already so fast that why would I get the slay? I think. Ooh, Jesus, I'm out of here. I'm not going to deal with that. There are way too many people in the area. I don't know. This is a very awkward fight, isn't it? Because Malphite? And then we're on one side while they're on the other? I can't even get in. I'm just gonna ulti. I don't, I'm okay with killing myself because the thing is, um, I'm not even worth a shutdown. My Kais is the fed one. <clears throat> so I'm gonna put myself directly into the fight, pop CC abilities, pop the abilities that, um, you know, deal good damage and stuff. <coughs> because who cares if I die? 
I'm I'm literally worth nothing compared to Kaisa. So I'm gonna sacrifice my own life to extend my team's lead. Or try to. Three one thirteen. Been part of sixteen kills out of twenty three. We want vision control. Is Olaf okay? No, he's dead. Pick up the souls. That guy dies immediately. Just one straight into that. I can hook her too. Whenever you land hook, uh, it lowers the CD of the hook. So when you have your hook maxed, then it kind of has no cooldown whatsoever. Just land hooks and win. <laughs> Alright, I have my next item. We can just put this onto our Kaisa. Another thing about playing support that uh, should be known, especially with champions like Thresh, Blitzcrank, and stuff, is uh, a lot of my items give me HP, armor, or magic resist. So you're kind of tankier. And once you start getting fed like how I am, uh, you can walk into dangerous scenarios fishing for more aggressive picks to extend your lead. And that's what you should be abusing. I, I still want to use my thing on her. There we go. We are smurfing it. Doesn't look like they're going to step up here. supported <laughs> do a little sweeping putting down a uh, board inside the middle of the lane allows you to see rotations much easier so maybe i should try to get this uh jace if i just uh cc him with anything kaisa can follow up ulti i think so i just go behind him and then just oh. i just want to assist Team's fighting mid. Um, looks like they're winning. That's good. I was going to say they're fighting without our most fed member. Oh, wait. Zed's also really fed. Yeah, I guess. Olaf died. Zed died too. Big bounty to Ash. Uh, doesn't look like I can do anything here, so I'm just going to go topside next. Maybe she can take this turret because uh, everybody was dead and they just respawned. So it's going to take a while for the other people to rotate up. She's going to hook. Oh, she almost walked into it. Oh, my God. I guess we should have not done it. I'm surprised that we weren't able to kill him. Play? No? I thought he was gonna Z ult or something. Guess not. Oh, my team does not wanna do this? I mean, I'll get Malphite ulti then? Z one for Ash and died. He should have followed up me, but I mean, whatever. <clears throat> Good attempt, guys. Why not? Okay, so that guy's just dead. Too bad he threw his axe so far away. He shouldn't have done that. Okay, well, nobody else was here. I, I figured that Malphite and was going to be there. Oh, Ash died. Yeah, I, I wasn't fully paying attention. And I didn't even notice that Ash died. I feel like me and Zed could have played much better if, if we played together. And I can't play towards him because I was being chased, so...
He had to play towards me. Casting my ultimate causes a storm. I think I just go lock it. I think lock it sounds really good. I just pop it inside of the middle of the team fight. I could uh, remove a lot of the damage dealt from many of their champions. They have a lot of AoE with Hecarim and Zyra. And if I pop it really fast, maybe I can even uh, remove Malphite ult damage. Although, uh, that'd be kind of hard to react to. I'm not sure if you can pop lock it when you're CC'd. I don't remember. I'm going to try, though. Oh. Huh? Okay, so this guy will just die here. Flying him back? Sweeping. Take the lantern? No, you don't want the lantern? Is Kaisa gonna be able to beat that guy? She's really fed. She's definitely dead the other guy, though. Zed's just split pushing top, so if we just chase this guy, we probably can uh, make it so he gets it. I am quite low, though. I'll face check. It's not here? Oh, he's gone. I guess I'll just take these CS. Nobody's here, so... Did he get the inhib? No? Oh, it's literally 1 HP. It's a bummer. Very close to finishing my locket. We can set up Baron if we really want to. I mean, I just put down a bunch of vision inside of their jungle, and then <coughs> we sweep when we can, put down a pink ward. We try to clear vision, so they have to face check us to check the Baron. That's the idea. And then we pick them with my champion. That's all you really do. So I put down some vision control. And then they have one blue trinket. Using the plants is always very good to get even more vision down. Ash is trying to kill the Kaisa. Well, that was very aggressive. We can probably just start the Baron at this point, right? Oh. Zed will kill that guy. Hecarim's dead. Now we just end. Uh, you might be screwed. I don't think I can save you. Sorry. I even played him backwards. Maybe if I did hook first instead of play? I don't know. Or if I threw lantern out first and he took it? I don't know. Put down some vision, grab all the inhibs, close out the game cleanly. Just throw hooked for the hell of it. You never know, it might land on someone. You can just give you lantern to leave. We don't want to accidentally throw the game, right? I still feel like there's almost no way to lose, but better safe than sorry. Buy more pink wards. We have our locket. He's getting engaged on. I don't know if I can get there fast enough to save him. Yeah, I can't. Oh shit, we both double pinked. I lantern because I was worried that she was going to get a Malphite ulti, but she didn't. Coming over to whatever this is. Nice, he killed both. Okay, huge. There's Malphite. I was trying to catch him on rotation, but I couldn't get there fast enough. He's too fast whenever he uses his Q, so we'll just ignore him. We'll just get these. Triple inhib. 
I mean, they'll try to Malphite ult, but it'll probably not work, so. Locketing now, pretty late, but I mean, I got Malphite ultied. Just playing that guy backwards, auto attack in. All right, GG. So yeah, that was me playing auto-filled Thresh. Uh, I'll look at the opposing uh, enemy bot lane. I want to see if they were duo Q because that makes it even cooler that uh, we crushed a duo Q. And I just want to know. So yeah, very simple fundamentals, playing a hook champion, um, abusing my level two. And that, that snowballed us really hard. Although, I, oh nice, I promoted a plat. Remember that this doesn't really matter because the MMR is what matters, and I, uh, my MMR is, like, Emerald. So, most people in this game are high plat, low Emerald. Plat 1, for instance. This person plays a lot of Zyra, it looks like. Um, this is the support, and she has a few games won. We'll look at, uh, so, it was, their name is Pola. Nope. Okay, so they're not duo Q. So it was not a duo. This is the other person that I faced. Emerald, 80 carry, has a lot of Kaisa. Wait, no. She was... We took their Kaisa. I had Kaisa to my side. Okay, so she was playing Ash. So that's the bot duo that we were facing. Uh, did a pretty good job. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'm probably going to make this a video of its own rather than add it onto a second video because that was pretty good by me. So thanks for watching again, and I'll see you guys in the next commentary. Farewell. Bye. Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary. Today we are playing some Fiora top lane. Uh, I know that I'm going to be uploading the Thresh game. So if I'm uploading the Thresh game, why not play something that i played before? It feels like there's hair in my mouth. Oh no. Drink something? I'm playing versus a Garen. I think this matchup must be kind of hard, isn't it? Okay, I shouldn't have let him auto-attack me there. Let's just burn my potion early. This guy has Ignite, by the way, so... Okay, that's a good vital proc. My vital's not in a good area. He's gonna reach two before me. Uh, yeah, my teammates recognize me. They're like, are you Pekin Wolf? <laughs> Whoa, I'm famous. People know who low pony ties are. Oh, wow. Did you do that on purpose? Your Q targets champions, so I know that. If, uh, the most annoying Fiora is perma-spam Q, even if you can't hit a vital, because you can get off a lot of grass procs. <gasps> oh! oh my god. He didn't all in me. Okay, that was a mistake, and he should have killed me there. So, good thing we're not inside of the high enough elo that they know that, because I'm pretty sure that should have been death for me. Wow, my WCD is really long, isn't it? I need to queue more sideways to make it so I don't accidentally, like, put my... Dude, this cannon is ridiculous. I don't think I can kill this guy in a 1v1. The issue is that he has Ignite advantage, and I know that if he just spins on me right now, I probably just lose, so... I'm not gonna do something stupid and get myself killed. They also said, GG, we win. As if, like, I'm gonna carry them. Yeah, okay, dude. Don't think I'm that crazy at top, especially playing something that is a high skill cap champion that I rarely have played. Ooh, that's a good vital proc. Do a short Q. You don't have to go the full distance with your Qs, so... Wait, did he just W? Or was that just bone plating that happened? I have a big wave for myself now, which is good. Oh, I missed the cannon. Dang. Whatever. My Q also does not deal as much as I thought it would to that minion, because it's level 3 at this point. My Q didn't hit him. 
This is still fine, though. I mean, I've gotten a lot of procs off. We can wave crash and just save our TP, probably. And I'll just uh, leave. <clears throat> it's Ravenous Hydra first item for the lifesteal, I guess. So we'll go that first. Let me look up the Fiora build. My CSing per minute, as you can see, is awful. I'm down 8 CS for no reason. If he backs here, he does not have TP to come back, so this is going to slow push towards me. Either he shoves in, uh, or he just like lets it slow push, but I'm going to do my best to keep him in this lane because I have buy up on him. Could get me killed, though, because uh, I'm going to be fighting into a big wave. I have item advantage, but he'll have wave advantage. Wait, I didn't do it correctly, really? I thought that I timed that pretty well there. I must have been off by like a second. I got all of his sums though. So now when I TP back, this is why I like doing uh, something called a cheater recall is really good where you push in a wave and then you reset is uh, important because then when you get into these, these states, I'm not gonna freeze this probably. Oh wait, can I? I'm taking so much damage here. I probably shouldn't. Let me just ruin my own lane by trying to freeze it. The wave is just so damn big. At least we got both of his summons for nothing, though. He might have just done it just to push in the wave. Who knows? Maybe he, he was like, oh shit. This is the only way that I can play this game, so... Maybe it was smart by him to do that. I don't know. <coughs> I don't know if Volibear wants to gank a Garen. I think that if this guy fights me, it's gankable. But if he doesn't fight me and he just like... Uh, we need him to use his Q at me. Uh, oh. It seems that he's walking towards Briar. Or something. Okay, he just uses Q. But this guy's just gone, isn't he? Nice. Good fight. I didn't get that many vital procs off there. I only got like two. Another thing about your vitals when you pop your ultimate is you get bonus movement speed. It's 30%. So, uh, that's what it says, right? Yeah. So, uh, being able to just pop it near somebody is great for chasing. So, popping it to catch them, it's wonderful. I have Demolish, right? I should probably use it. You can also Q the turret. Then it's back away. I have no mana. Hopefully he doesn't stop me here. Oh, he pushes out the wave so damn fast. Don't check the brush. I'm gonna sell my biscuit so I can buy another longsword. Might as well. I'll probably get a plate of his own, no? Because uh, he pushes so fast that I'm not going to arrive back in a lane very quickly. My ultimate already does 20% true damage. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Oh dang, I missed. By the way, last uh, video, I was talking about how, like, you should always be playing aggressive to try to learn your limits and stuff. And some people were like, how do you learn your limits? I mean, I don't understand every matchup that well either. It's a matter of kind of learning it on your own. But you should simplify, in my opinion, the way that I see it is you simplify everything super... Uh... Oh. That was a good W, wasn't it? Oh, my Q didn't land on him there. Anyways, uh, Garen, right? He has a silence. 
If I W the silence, which is a parry or his ult, I should just win. That's about it. That's all I'm thinking about. In fact, I feel like I can win here. Okay, I didn't even play that well, but as you can see, I'm still going to try to commit to learn. <laughs> the thing that I needed, or I, I, I knew that I could probably do, is that when Fior breaks a vital and that he's already half HP, we're going to be having a massive HP lead. Not only that, but I had my W up to try to block something or slow him. Uh, my ultimate will be used to chase him. I've seen Fioras do this before, where after you break a vital... You immediately ulti them to get another vital on the same exact spot that you just broke. So technically I got like a, a two for one deal uh, on my vitals. And and then just chase him afterwards. He put himself against a wall. He put himself against the wall because he's trying to make it so the last vital doesn't proc. He's trying to prevent that. Because if you put your back against it, then how am I supposed to get onto that side to break it? Because if you break every single one, I heal. I heal for what? 111 every second wow uh i like that boot uh i think i should go plated steel caps this game let's also just buy it now so we get back faster because i'm gonna miss a bunch of minions if i don't still such a poor job at csing dude if i just cs better I, i'm sure that i can do even better i think that if i cs perfectly i could have even afforded this ravenous hydra so it's kind of a big deal missing that little bit Caught him fast now, though. But yeah, you should just simplify every single champion. If I hit my vitals, then I win. If he blocks my vitals and he uses his W to, like... You're just dead. Holy, that guy burned flash on you. Flash for what? Yeah, he's very aggressive. Oh, got you super low. Just procking our vitals. He's going in way too aggressive when, when there's a good vital hit on him. I don't have my W. It's awkward. Oop. I'm probably dead here, no? really wish that Bola Bear committed for the correct target there at the beginning, but that's okay. We made it work in the end somehow. I used my W on the Garen ult because he postured forward at me, and I somehow mechanically pulled it off. Good job, dude. What he did there, he was tanking for me to let me finish. I don't think I can do more. <laughs> Good job, though. I think that was definitely worth it. Good stuff. Happy that I bought these boots. I'm pretty sure that's the only reason why I was saved versus um that <clears throat> Briar. Because she, she got me super low and almost killed me. Is Briar ulting top? No, bot. It must be bot. Obviously, when you're trying to learn matchups, though, the, the complicated part becomes, like, if I was... Garen's super simple, so it makes it much more easy for me to try to learn. But if I was versus a... Uh, oh my god, I thought that I heard Orianna for a second. Um, If I was versus, like, a Camille, how am I supposed to learn how, how Fior versus Camille works? Because they're, they're both complicated. It's also in the wrong key. What? I didn't land? Oh. Wow, that's actually- that feels honestly pretty broken. I can't believe you can just do that. Oriana only has one CC ability, and I was just, like, thinking to myself... Okay. I have experienced playing against good Fioras before, and this also just comes from practice and stuff. Obviously, you can't just, like, 
with anything, if you want to learn a really difficult song on the piano, it's going to take a ridiculous amount of time to get a feel for it. And then once you learn it, you're going to feel like good the whole entire time. So I'm trying to do things that are going to like really teach me how to play. And also I've seen other people do. So I'm trying to take that and use it for my own gameplay. And what I know is that when you make it to even a single item, when you have this CDR, right? That's when Fiora starts getting ridiculous. Because what happens is, um, if you land your Q, it basically has no CD. So if I just land Q onto Orianna, she is screwed. I, I press my flash key. Oh my god, I'm just, dang man, I suck. Whatever. <laughs> uh, I should have waited for my ultimate to be back up. If I press Ravenous and then Flash, I bet I get another vital proc that heals me for a bunch, and then she maybe dies, and then Oriana doesn't kill me. God. But that was good practice. <sighs> it's crazy what Fiora can do, dude. I feel like I'm playing a champion that's like better than everybody else's, but it's it's just a matter of uh having hands with the champion. Anyways, I'm just using the the knowledge of when I play versus a good Fiora, how it feels, and using that. I'm just going to TP into this fight. Maybe I can help. Although, he didn't run backwards, which kind of sucks. I think we're okay, no? Just keep running, dude. Let me heal instead of you, Crest. I'm really low. Let's go heal bot side. No. I missed the cannon. Is anybody gonna come bot to get this? Okay, nice. Good shit, Lulu. Thank you for the assistance on my play. Honestly, I thought that I could do it on my own, but I can't. <laughs> I was trying to kill Nami immediately. I got my W off on her bubble, but then um, I couldn't do more. Oh shit, there's a Garen behind me. Dude, it's so crazy what I can do. Ah, oh, I pressed my flash again! I was gonna flash and probably get myself killed because I flashed downwards. I was trying to flash downwards and then Q the uh, Orianna to heal, but it probably would have ended up with me dying, right? God, I feel so OP still. This guy is going full. Oh. They, they win this for sure with White Gun. He presses Q, swap to White, and then just, uh. Oh, never mind. She just ran away. Just kidding. Nice try, though. God, I feel so broken. <laughs> Just buy Asterics. Something defensive next, because we have our core items. With my Q applying... Your Q applies on hits, by the way. That's why Trinity is good, because it's you're applying the... Uh... If you buy Blade of the Rune King, it, it procs it. So if you ever want to go Blade of the Rune King, you totally could. It's not that bad. Uh, let me just go top. I'm not trying to take your farm. Maybe Garen can one-shot me if he plays perfectly. Oh.
I don't know why I use my W there. It's actually a waste. I should just get hit by the ability. There's no reason not to. Dang, I was hoping that she was here. Oh my god. Flash over the ball, I dare you. I have my ultimate still. Oh, Katarina kills everybody here. Reset. Oh, she lost vision. That was awkward. <laughs> she lost vision of the person. All right, let's just take their camps. This will give blue buff to everybody. It's very nice. We're also like denying farm. And we're good to go. I think Fiora is going to be one of those champions that I would honestly completely be fine with putting a lot of time into if I get stuck inside a high elo. I think that healing us by doing this is good. Oh, you're going to get me feared. Oh my god, I'm going to die here for sure. Nice Oriana ult, well played. That Briar knockback kind of ruined my positioning really hard. The good news is that my team's quite strong and myself, so we can still do enough to at least deny them from uh, wiping all of us and like getting Baron. It's not the worst thing in the world to start an objective and then fail it. Because the other thing is that, okay, so at worst, right? At worst, what happened was it was a three for two. Which is obviously, no, it was a 4 for 2 in our favor. And at best, we get Baron. So there's no reason not to just do it and just see what happens. Like, how are you supposed to know the outcome beforehand? It's kind of like a feeling of champion differences and, like, where we are on the map and who's respawning. They had staggered resets, I believe. So they kind of came in one by one as well. Um... So, all those factors kind of go together. <clears throat> For instance, uh, like, a, a bad play, like, let's say, okay, I'm going to take what you say, and I'm going to learn from it, and I'm going to start Baron at some point, right? Uh, you should never do it if everybody's alive on the enemy team, and they're all mid or something. But uh, a good example of, like, we should just start Baron and see what happens. Firstly, make sure you have champions that do it somewhat fast. Aphelios is pretty good. Almost every AD carry is pretty good um, to do it. This guy's pretty strong, by the way. He might be able to beat me in a 1v1. I can try to outplay it just for practice if I really want to, I guess. You should just ignore them if they brush camp and just push the waves. That forces them to follow you. Hey. Okay. I got big chunk. He should die here, I think, no? Yeah, he, he can't even step up, otherwise he probably can get killed. I really want to limit test here. Dang, man. I suck. It's so hard. <laughs> to position correctly so he can't just run away. I mean, it's not bad because we push him away, but whatever. It's probably just game now. Felius is popping off super hard. Game sucks, GG. Damn. I'm sorry, I failed that. Man, what was I just talking about? Oh yeah, the Baron. Like, if everybody goes bot, then just start the Baron. Uh, and just see if you can do it or not. Because at worst case, normally, if if they start coming towards you and you realize that you think that you're scared because they're they're on the way, you need to, if you want to improve yourself, you need to per be the person that spam pings, then also spams back pings if it starts going wrong. I don't really do that anymore because I played so much in high elo that I just let everybody else do their own thing, but I'll probably have to get used to spam pinging to like 
be the person in control for like shot calling again. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the commentary nonetheless. Um, <coughs> on the Fiora. Feels so easy to play the more complicated champions because it feels like their power is so much higher for allowing me to do things that other champions couldn't do. If I was Garen versus Fiora, I felt I would feel like I'm stuck. But because I'm the person that's playing the more complicated champion, I have so much more options to do stuff. So, um, GG. On solo account, my top site goes 0 20. On this account, I get challenger player. I'm not even a challenger right now, but thanks, man. Anyways, thanks for watching again. That This person was like the person who said, like, are you peeking wolf? These two. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next commentary. We're currently 15 and 5. All right, bye.